Morning YouTube. I bet you all are wondering what the heck I'm doing with PVC in the wood shop. Well, the answer is easy. I'm uh, I'm making these spring clamps. Here locally, I can pick these ones up right here for about 99 cents. Uh, they're pretty good. They they do their job, but they only open up to about two and a quarter inches. And if you need a lot of them, they can get pricey. Uh, just a real quick tip. PVC. Works just as good as any spring clamp and some of the benefits to using PVC as opposed to a spring clamp is you can open this up. This opens up to two and a quarter inch at max capacity. This one will open up to just about four inches. So you can get a lot more on there and they're inexpensive. If you can get a piece of uh, four inch, 10 feet long for about $11. And if you cut them at two inches, you can get roughly 60 out of a 10 foot piece. So for 10 bucks or 11 bucks for the, for the PVC, you can get 60 spring clamps. You can make them different sizes. If you want, you want them a little bit more pressure on your piece, you can make, make your cramp a little bit bigger. The only downside to these is if you, I cut most of mine at two inches and at two inches, one inch separation, the, the, this spring clamp's a little bit stronger, but when you open it up past the one and a half, these get weaker as, as they get wider and I don't know why that is um, but these get and these clamps get stronger it's just a quick way to make yourself a bunch of clamps that you can use for edge clamping or uh, you know glue ups and that sort of thing if you where you anytime you would use this you know you can use this in its place and it's cheap and easy another quick tip is making sure your square is square and what do I mean by that well, whenever I get a new square, I like to check to see that it's square. The simple way of doing that is just taking your pencil, putting your square on a flat piece of stock with a, a piece of stock with a straight edge on one side and then flipping it over and making sure it's lining up perfectly. Now you can do that with every square you have in your shop. For instance, I've got this small framing square here I use occasionally when I'm building cap when I'm building boxes. And this one is not quite square. So that's the end of that one. Here's another trick that a lot of people don't know when you're checking for square. Don't just trust that this your grind on your 45 when you're using a combination square is accurate. Because even though this side might be square, your 45 may not be. Another simple method for checking that is just to put a dot somewhere along your line and on one side put it in the center of the dot and just put a mark down at the bottom of your plane and then flip it over and do the same and then what you want to do is measure the distance from your line at the bottom of your plane to your center line and that is two and one quarter and that is two and one quarter, so this one is actually square. Quick, easy tips, helps keep your projects going well and it's nice and square.